Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Found it. Sneak up to the camp, Very quietly. See anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Well, let's look for shit. There's some shit here. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Or maybe they're still around here. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Ah, oh, what's this? Bingo and a Ringo. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Why would they have dairy boxes? I know it's the deal, but it's kind of a bit shifty, don't you think, guys? Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. <gasps> Is it anything in cattle? Anything in the cattle. Just water. Oh, pop. There's gotta be something. Let's look at the crate. Nothing. There's literally nothing here. Move the rock. Empty. What is this? I see here. Camera. That's helpful. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Why is it good, Andy? Actually, well done, you I know. see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Why would he say it was good that they came in a batch? My suspicions have been peaked. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Jeez. 
Jesus. Is a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. What the hell? Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them. Men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me. And not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice. Not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where. And I faked them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them, and I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! Jesus. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Shut up. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. You, sir, are one scary mother fudger. Come on. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Denny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? 
Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. A lifesaver. Big fat mama on the porch. Hey yo. Oh, the weird ass mother. There he is. Murderer. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that guy. What's not to like? <laughs> Just kind of creepy, that's all. Just kind of creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I have. Right. Definitely creepy. No, Kevin had my suspicion. He's bloody weird. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. We got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Bye, creepy, creepy, what's his name, Danny? Yeah, that's Danny, isn't it? Yeah, Danny. Let's go give this to Clementine. Clemmy Clue, Clem Clem Clue. Open the door. He's knocking at the door. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Whoa! Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Did you lick it, Clem? Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor end who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Skinny cow. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. I like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. <laughs> See, he's smiling too. <laughs> Duty. 
Hey there, Andy. Yep. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Should we look around the Oh, there's a big door. What's in the stores? There's anything interesting? That would be a no. The big door looks very interesting, though. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Uh, duh. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Let me have a look. Okay. Lock. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... You know... Urban? Oh, you are uh. not saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Not suspicious. What? Distract Danny to get him out of the barn. Let's get him out of the barn. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without it. No, why? What? Larry the Womanizer, hey? What's this? What's this? It says, it says generator keeps the whole thing going. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. <laughs> Turn it off. Access panel. Let's damage it. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. Great. Let's go find a screwdriver. Damn this thing is the worst piece of shit. 
Something's always tripping the breaker. Well, that gets him out of the barn. I thought it would get him out of the barn. We just need to make sure that it takes longer to turn off. It's a small toolbox. Got us a screwdriver in there. <gasps> Crayon! And a screwdriver. Multi tool. That should be handy. Let's take it. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Yeah. Borrow. Multi-toolish shit. There, that should do it. Walk away, Lee. Walk away. Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. God, this take forever. Take forever, you say. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm going back to the barn to find out what you're keeping in said barn. Even though it's none of my business. You have to make sure. Something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. So let's unpick it. Is that it? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Okay, Lee. Let's get this thing off. Unscrewing the lock. Dinner time. 